Welcome to episode 3 of the movie review. And so what, so these are movies I watched, just watched recently. So, um, so yeah, these, so these are movies I watched recently. And so episode 3 is Mr. Magoo. So, Mr. Magoo was like an old cartoon back in like 70s, 80s, mostly 70s. And so they made it into a movie in the 90s. So I'm about Leslie Nielsen. And so basically, uh, Mr. Magoo, you can't see too well. And so, he, so like, I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, he gets caught up in like a heist of some famous jewel from like a foreign country. And that's basically the whole plot of the whole movie. He just gets mixed up in a thing that involves, like, you know, like, crooks and stuff to, that, yeah. He is caught up in the dual theft. So, yeah. Uh, so, um, I like to, you know, talk about the cast first. So, the main guy, you have Leslie Nielsen, and, um... Well, he's been in lots of different... Well, he's been in a lot of th- different things. Like, well, he's probably most famous for being the Naked Gun trilogy. Naked Gun... Then, you know, Naked Gun... Uh, the Naked Gun, Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear, and... The uh, Naked Gun, Three and a Half. Uh, three and... Three thirds. Uh, the Final Insult. Which he starred in with uh, Priscilla Presley. The wife of ex-wife of Elvis Presley. Then he's also been in movies like The Forbidden uh, The Forbidden Planet. Uh, he was even in The Poseidon Adventure, The Reluctant Astronaut, and was actually in a episode of Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Hour, and, or Presents. I think it was Hour. And, but he's probably most famous for being um is for being in the movie Airplane with his line, You surely can't be serious, I am, but don't call me Shirley. So that's probably his most famous line in all the movie. So, uh, next we have... Okay, so next we have uh, Kelly Lynch. Uh, she's been in things well, like movies like Roadhouse, uh, the Cocktail, Charlie's Angels, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so next we have uh, Jennifer Gardner. Uh... She's mostly famous for being in the movies Electra, uh, Electra and Daredevil. And she's also been in movies like Pearl Harbor. So I kind of, kind of see a theme going on with the Ben Affleck thing. But, uh, so, uh, next we have Matt Kieslar. Uh, he's been in movies, well, like Scream 3. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So next we have, uh, Malcolm McDowell. Uh, he's been in Fight Met with, well, mostly the Halloween movies. Uh, it was also in the movie Bolt. And Star, Ch- and Star Trek Generations. And Home Alone 5. I didn't, I didn't, it, which, which came out in 2012. I didn't know they made a Home Alone 5. So, I was kind of surprised that they, like, no, I don't even remember. Okay, so next, uh, we have Steven... I can start if I say this name wrong. Uh, Talbo... Uh, Tupolzlowski, I think. And so, he's actually been in a lot of stuff, like... Groundhog Day, Garfield the Movie, Wild Hogs, The Loax, uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, Spaceballs. And, in, and right now... He's probably most famous for playing the principal on the Goldbergs. And so next we have Ernie Hudson. Uh, most famous for being in the, well, Ghostbusters, just Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, and the upcoming Ghostbusters movie. is like, is, is like Aftermath. I don't remember the name. And he's also been in movies like The Crow. The Wayne and Lee actually died filming the movie. And so, okay, so next we have Frank Welker. Uh, basically, if, if there's an animated movie or TV show, most likely he's in it. He actually plays the bulldog in the movie that you saw in the movie poster, pulling Leslie Nielsen back from the edge. Yeah, so, like, like look at all the characters he's played. Like, you know, like, I recognize lots of these guys. Like, Scooby-Doo. And, jeez. 
So basically, anything that involves like animals or anything, he's the guy who does it. And he, but he's probably most famous for playing Scooby Doo, and basically a Scooby Doo movie. But and I think he actually did Scooby Doo back in the sixties too. So basically, he's mostly famous for doing Scooby Doo. And so now let's this is probably the video when I kind of talk about um well you know my thoughts about but so this is a pretty okay movie nice family friendly movie so 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 in this coronavirus times well when I'm filming this I don't know what's it like when this goes out but in this coronavirus times this is actually a nice family movie to watch it's funny there's humor and uh so yeah, it's just a lot of great, it, it's a pretty good, nice family movie, so. And, uh, so personally, in the 1 to 5 rating scale that I usually do, 1 being the worst, 5 being the best, 3 being the happy medium, I would just give this a 3, it was a pretty okay movie, it was entertaining, I liked it, and, um, on Watson Potatoes, it has a 7, it has a 7%, and, And yeah. So um. So that's so, so that's all I have about have about this. So if you have any like comments, complaints, questions, answers to the questions, I mean like hey, good job, good video, stuff like that, just put it in the comments below. And I kind of want to know like what's your thoughts on this movie kind of thing. So I say I give this a this a three. It's okay, family. It's a family friendly movie, and um. So, yeah, I I just want I I just kind of hear like what's your comments on this movie? Uh, movie. Uh, what do you think about it? So so put so put that all down in the comments below. I I read and respond, and pretty much every one. So yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.